brain. Some heroes are made, others are defrosted. This is their story. Gonna tell you a story and it's vaguely true about bot kicking dinosaurs who know kung fu. Edgar is the nerdy human guy. His whack and eventually the super fly. Now our heroes try to save the day from a new Nami and a cliche. Their secret power, this comma sword thing for not only one. T-Rex, their Stegosaurus, Chow, Triceratops, Lucy, Lucy. don't forget Jet, a Tyranna, a Pajama, a Tijuana, can you expect me to say this? Bad guys, Corey's one evil dude, obsessed with the crystals and super rude. Scrap his brother, wouldn't call him smart, he'd get lost in a mini Come on, lost little pony. You can do it. Jump the gorge. Jump the gorge. <laughs> He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Guys, I've got an emergency. Yes, I am awesome. Yes, I will do awesome things. People like me. Dad! What, can a guy enjoy a little audio self-help? Dino Girls Rock! Uh, Chow? We're over here. Yeah, bro. You're harshingly awesome. I was just testing your, um, formation thingy. I'm ready. Well, Kane, do you mind? It's my day to be awesome. Jet, I'm a T-Rex. Every day is my day to be awesome. What's the dealio, Polly? Is it score? Mutants? Link? Bloating? Could be that girly tea you're always drinking. Chow, not cool. I'm just saying. It's Peter Pillbottom. Peter Pillbottom? <laughs> hey, wait. Who's Peter Pillbottom? Ooh, maybe a dinosaur with one of those big, fat bottoms that walk like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. It goes qua, qua, qua when you poke him in the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Peter Pillbottom was not a dinosaur. He's the most famous paleontologist in the world. And he was supposed to give the keynote speech at my conference tomorrow. So? What's the problem? The problem is he just canceled. And there's no way I can replace him. Typical scientists, they don't call when they say they will. All wrapped up in their important work. Ooh, issues. Anyway, I need a replacement. Oh, I could dance for him. Everybody always loves a little interpretive dance. Okay, what's this? Ten seconds of my life, I'll never get back. Nope, but close. That was my awesome lost little pony dance. Thanks anyways, guys. But there's just nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Is there nothing you can do right? Uh, I can do this. No, 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 no! I was talking about those confounded crystals. Every time I send you to get one, those dim-witted dinos beat you to the punch! Oh, that! Oh, but I can explain! Silence! This time, we're going straight to the source, the crystal containment cell at the KFTP headquarters. We're busting into the posse's HQ? Exactly. Well, actually, I'll be watching from the comfort of my evil lair while you do the dirty work. But... Oh, don't worry. You'll have some help from my molecular modifier. No, 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 no. Not that again. Anything but the molecular modifier. This will do perfectly. <laughs> I'm a man! Hey guys, what's with the long faces? Uh, dude, I'm a pteranodon. This is the way I was, like, born. Hey, you don't hear us making fun of that ridiculous hair in the top of your head. Good point. No, I mean, why do you look sad? Polly's paleontologist cancelled on her and she can't find a replacement. 
Well, what about you guys? Uh, Earth to Edgar, Polly needs a paleontologist. We don't know anything about pales. Paleontologists don't study pales. They study dinosaurs. Exactly. That's what I've been trying to tell Chow. Oh, everything! Dude! Did you say dinosaurs? I've been a dinosaur my whole life. Some of my best friends are dinosaurs. I could do it. Ugh. Come on, guys. I just saw Polly heading upstairs. Out of the way, Johnny Longface. I'm going to help Polly. Johnny Longface. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I wonder if sulking is awesome. Hmm? They must have forgot something. Out of my way, huh? coming through, coming through. I got an emergency call for a faulty crystal containment cell. <laughs> uh, are you like sure, ugly little dude? Nobody told me. Uh, a work order's right here. Uh, dinosaur dude, can't read. Uh, signed by Edgar. And now, if you'll just stand back. <laughs> snip, 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 and snip. <laughs> ah, there we go. I'll just get this hunk of junk out of your way. Yikes, who set off the alarm? Don't worry, dude. It's just the containment cell repair man you called. I didn't call anyone. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Who sent you here? Uh, who? Uh, me? Uh, you didn't see that. It's not even a man at all. It's Scrap. Ah, uh, stupid molecular modifier. I never know how long it's gonna last. Here, catch! The crystals! Bye-bye, uh, nerd boy! <laughs> Containment cell repair man, you really think I'd fall for that scrap? Uh, yes, because you did. Dude, it is not awesome to gloat. <laughs> oh, and you're a sore loser. Your forecast calls for strong winds, dude. <laughs> Where did he go? Good question. I'm not picking up any readings. Looks like Scrap gave us the slip once again. Hey, Polly, great news. I've got the perfect replacement for your paleontologist, me. Really? You think you could do it? Does a stegosaurus have wings? Um, no. <laughs> of course not. I was just testing you. In fact, I know everything about dinosaurs. I am one. Hmm. You're hired. Thank you so much. Just tell me what you want me to do. I was thinking you could start with the depleted ecosystem of the Mesozoic era, and then after lunch, move into the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea. Okay? Uh... Okay! Oh, I have to go tell Grandpa. Thanks again. You're the best! Meso what? Any damage? It should be fine. I just have to cross-reference all the crystals to make sure none are missing. And how is it going here? Good as new. If Scrap comes back, he won't get through here. Excellent, but I'm afraid it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And how do you explain your most recent failure? My most recent? Oh, it was because of your crazy molecular modifier. My molecules got unmodified too soon. Silence! How dare you blame your incompetence on a poor defenseless device? It's a good thing for you I was able to tap into the museum's security video so I can keep an eye on those dreaded dinos myself. Hello? What's this? Zoom in! I said zoom in! It seems that our forgetful little fossil heads overlooked something. Now go and get it! No, 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 no! If those guys see me back in there, they'll pulverize me! Well then, we'd better make sure they don't see you. Bring me my molecular modifier! <sighs> How'd I know he was gonna say that? Sauropods were four-legged dinosaurs with long necks, small heads, and blunt teeth. Or is that small necks, blunt heads, and long teeth? Oh, I'm so confused. When I get back, I'm gonna smash that dumb molecular modifier if it's the last thing I do. Man, all this studying is making me hungry. Mm. Huh. Hey! <laughs> what are you doing, you big dummy? Oh. <laughs> hey, there he is. I uh, made your favorite breakfast for your big day. Thanks, Lucy, but my tummy doesn't feel so good. Chow not hungry. There's a first. Maybe you're nervous about your speech today. I haven't been feeling well ever since that midnight snack last night. I just finished cross-referencing all the crystals, and I've got bad news. There's one missing. 
You've got to be kidding. Crystal missing, midnight snack. You don't think it's possible. You remember that time Chow accidentally ate your new shoes? Yeah, lucky I wasn't wearing them. I'll grab the dino optic x-ray goggles and we'll have a look ugh, inside. Gotcha! <laughs> ah, I love it when the water is body temperature. <laughs> And now to find a way out of this stinky place. you <laughs> And I thought he smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! You must be one of those white blood cells. <laughs> I'm sorry I called you home stinky. Oh, please don't hurt me. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're a friendly little guy. <laughs> I think I'll call you Licky. I don't believe it. Chow actually ate scrap! And washed him <laughs> down with a crystal for dessert. Dude, that's like totally intense. We gotta tell Chow right away. Kane, wait. If Chow gets excited or nervous, his stomach acids could inadvertently trigger the crystal. Stomach acid activating a crystal? Dude, where'd you come up with that? I, uh, saw it in a cartoon. <laughs> well, that's a reliable source of information. I might have a solution. You guys follow me. Sure, let's follow the scatterbrain genius. I think I saw that in a cartoon, too. <laughs> we must have a bad connection, Scrap. I, I could have sworn I just heard you say you were stuck inside Chow's body. You are stuck inside Chow's body? Of all the stupid, idiotic, dumbfounded, unprecedented... <laughs> He's not very nice, is he? Well, for your information, my friend Licky thinks I am the nicest, smartest, multi-celled organism he's ever met. Don't you dare hang up this phone on me, or I swear I'll... I'll... Who is Licky? All right. Now, I need two of you to get in there. Yeah, sure, Edgar. Right after I eat my own wing. Hmm, oh. tastes like chicken. Um, just one question. How is that gonna get in there? I ran the specs on Scrap's thermal imaging when he was here, and I think I figured out how their molecular modifier works. Oh my, I just remembered I have to rearrange my sock drawer. You don't wear socks. Okay, you got me. I don't want to go inside that thing. If I can just pinpoint the exact flux modulation, I should be able to shrink you guys down small enough to go in there and get that crystal. Lucy and I will go. You stay here with Edgar and make sure Chow stays calm. Awesome! Just what I was thinking. Yeah, me too. How sure are you that this will work? It's totally foolproof. <laughs> Unless I punched in an incorrect digit. That's reassuring. You do realize how crazy this is. You mean that Edgar just happened to have this sitting around for moments like this? Yes, I do. Oh, shrink! Tastic! This subsonic laser cone should help them penetrate Chow's thick epidermis. No! Oh, something just bit me! Oh, uh, me too. Uh, darn mosquitoes! Mosquito felt like a torpedo. Are they in? We'll know soon. I demand that you get back here at once and bring me that crystal! Oh, so that's the way you're going to be, hey? If my insolent little brother won't come out on his own, I want you to shake him out and don't harm that crystal! You know, they say to really know someone, you have to walk a mile in their shoes. I wonder what they'd say about walking a mile in their intestine. If this is what humans refer to as inner beauty, I am just not seeing it. Hold oh! on! We've lost our son! Edgar, do you read me? Guys, you made it. Are you okay? It feels like an earthquake in here. What's going on? Looks like Chow's getting a little frustrated with his studying. Uh, I don't get it! Yikes, that could trigger the crystal. We have to calm him down. I've got an idea. I just don't know how I'm gonna pull this off, guys. I can't even remember the difference between a brontosaurus and a brachiosaurus. What am I gonna do? All you need is a little break and a nice breath of fresh lynx. A breath of fresh lynx? Are you crazy? We're supposed to be calming him down, not freaking him out. I know, but look. <laughs> don't sweat it, dude. You take care of Chow, and I'll take care of these Lynx. Hey, why don't you Lynx go pick on someone your own smell? <laughs> Leaving so soon. Dudes, you brought blasters to a fist fight? <laughs> ah, 
I'm trying to make this easy for you. I guess you guys didn't hear. Today is my day to be awesome. Oh, yeah. I'll take a double foot long and hold the diced tomatoes. <laughs> they make me sneeze. Dude, I took care of those links, and I found something to take Chow's mind off of his speech. Food! Should be a little calmer in there for you guys now. Thank you, Edgar. You didn't by any chance give him a hot dog and soda, did you? Yeah, how'd you know? Just a guess! <laughs> Lucy, over here! Apparently not like that. Raptor rope, engage! Whoa! Uh, I'll just assume that was Chow's stomach. Looking for this, I presume. <laughs> As a matter of fact, yes! <laughs> ah! Well, Nikki has other ideas. That's a good little boy. Come on, Scrap. Do you really think we're afraid of some white blood cell? Oh, you should be. Because Licky doesn't like intruders. And neither do his friends. Oh, boy. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Unfortunately, Peter Pilbonum has been unavoidably detained. But here to take his place, my dear friend Chow. Just try to stay calm. And talk about what you know. I can do that. Thank you, thank you. You're too kind, really. Uh, everyone just settle down. Um... Get on with it! Okay, well, it is popularly believed that the species Stegosaurus was strictly a plant eater, but recent evidence indicates that their favorite food is cheeseburgers! <gasps> yes, shocking. Oh. <laughs> ah! These things are worse than Jurassic <laughs> Jew bugs! Talk to the tail, critters! <laughs> What action! <laughs> and no controlling brother around! <laughs> I think I like it here. Freeze Blaster, away! No, Lucy, you can't fire that in here. We have no idea what effect it might have on Chow's body. I have a pretty good idea of the effect those little critters will have on my body, and I don't like it! And they also like french fries and milkshakes too- Oh, whoa! <laughs> Chow, what's so funny? <laughs> Sorry, folks. I have no idea what's happening here, <laughs> but I think I like it. Get down! <laughs> what are you guys doing in there? It's a little hard to explain, Edgar. Cover me, Kane. I think I've got a clear shot. Eyes away! Got it. Now, which way out of here? I say up! Ah! Come back! Ah, who am I kidding? They never come back. <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> I feel weird. Yeah, what the heck was that? Atta boy, Licky! <laughs> Let's see how they like my dino expander. <laughs> if he releases the mutant in here, it'll block Chow like a balloon! Edgar, we need to get out immediately! I was afraid he was going to say that. You mean you don't have a plan to get them out of there? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Wait a second. Remember what Chow said at the hot dog cart? No. You mean you actually listen to that guy? He's allergic to tomatoes. They make him sneeze. Right now, I think that's the least of his problems. Boo! Boo! Dude, that is harsh. But I think I see where you're going with it. A tomato! A tomato! Look! Uh, everybody uh, back! Uh, 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 Gross! Gross! Whatever kind of cold he's got, I don't want to catch it! <laughs> Go get him, Licky! Stick them, boy! Kung Fu Dino Posse, Whale and Tail! 
Good job, Licky! <laughs> We're not being awesome, guys. We have to stop this thing. I can't hit it. Not with these allergies. That's it, Licky. The time for a little dino disturb. That's right, Licky. Come and get me. Dad, what are you doing? Just follow my lead. Rick, a little help here. Hey, and no fair. Give my licky his tongue back. You asked for it. Let go now. <laughs> Ciao, Fossilator. <laughs> Thought you could use a hand. <laughs> Nice shot! <laughs> Thanks! And by the way, gazoon type. Poor Licky! So young! So innocent! Cut down in his prime! Never to lick again! Oh, I'll get you for this kung fu dino posse! Ready when you are, Scrap! Bye-bye! Ah, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of strange things, but that takes the cake! You mean Scrap making a pet out of one of your white blood cells? No, I mean that guy that threw the tomato. Who brings a tomato to a paleontology conference? <laughs> <laughs> Bob kicking time.